and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ah, come on, kicker. Man, this has no chance. Yeah, yo. No good. Well, we going to take that. But a flag is down here, so yeah, yo. Let's see what this is about. So we would have figured that one to be three points in the bank, but this game, you know, can be unpredictable at times. Yeah, he knew he needed to pull it ever so slightly to get it going in the right direction, but he seemed to put a little too much on it. And from short range, that is a... And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, baby. I'll take that penalty. <laughs> points on the board. Got it. Come on. And he puts it through. Yeah, yo. I'll take that. Now let's get some defense. Frank's now on to kick mm -hmm. it away mm -hmm. after the touchdown. Oh. And he'll be out of bounds here just Ooh. past the 20 yard line. Didn't go out of bounds. And the Jaguars getting set to go. <clears throat> They're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch it in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, give up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it in the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. There's Foles. Wide open receiver. And that one good for 16 yards and a first. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height. Sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback that has to slide and find open space to throw. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Foles. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now, the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it, we can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Now Foles. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. They'll look to throw. And he comes back with one complete. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, 
and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. A little bit of a lower trajectory there on the deep kick, and it worked. Had to do it because he had to drive it out low because of the length of the kick. Able to do that, got it above the defense and over the post. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't scoreboard watch. Everyone does it to some extent, but you've got to set it aside right now. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. 75 yards, and the Bengals are going to jump back in front. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, Whew. I'd hear nine Defense. from the receivers. Cool. That meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. Oh. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. This is taken near the 13. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker. Ah, oh, he didn't get in. They want that ball in the end zone. No. Be going for six. Mm, close there. He caught it, just wasn't able to stay in bounds. And that's where the sideline it was used as a 12th defender. You know, 11's legal. This one is an imaginary one, one that my college coach used to call Sammy Sideline. <laughs> Sammy Sideline can protect you at times, and in this case, that's exactly what he did for the defenders. And there's another completion to the tight end. Let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do, and it, it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put it up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out-leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. They'll set up a throw. What? A quick throw here. That's complete. And he's brought down. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit, but how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. They go play action here on first down. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. Offense looking to avoid a third and long at second and ten. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And his throw's going to be incomplete. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. Complete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense draws up here on third. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. 
And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over the spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. Here we go. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he swallowed up right near the Ooh. line of scrimmage. Hold the block, homie. Now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Let's go! Grand 38! Grand 38! Cut. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so on, empathetic for those DBs, go. aren't you? On first down, he'll drop to throw. <laughs> Shit. It's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. That was a great read. Who picked that shit? Right at the 44-yard line. And now out come the Jets. He broke on that route, something serious. Damn it. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, come get a little bit closer yeah, this time. Mm. Uh, rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Second down following the incompletion. He'll look to no. Go. Now they go screen. It's complete. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of two. Now third down. The offense staring at a third and 12 here. Here's Foles. Looking left sideline, it's complete. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now the offense lining up first and 10. Foles looking deep downfield. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. Now Foles. And he fires one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. So now the Bengal offensive unit back out onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust Let's their go. guys Let's in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Offense staying ahead of the chains here. Second and three. Black round! Black round! Let's go! White, nine, eight. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he is going to lose yardage here. He lost two there. And it's third down. One of the toughest things for an offensive lineman to learn is the ability to get in space and hit people who are moving targets. And linebackers are not easy ones to hit because they know how to move, juke, and make you miss. And that's exactly what he did on that play. A nice play for the defense. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Out come the Jaguars now 